Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create an advanced announcement bar with countdown timer. So here on my screen, you can see that I have an announcement bar and below this, I have a countdown timer. So both these things are implemented using single code. You only need to download the code and copy and paste the code and you will get both the things like announcement bar as well as the countdown timer. So let me show you the benefit. For example, someone is visiting onto your store then definitely this countdown timer will create an urgency to uh, buy the product immediately. All right. So that's how your uh, sales will be increased drastically. So let me show you how I implemented this into uh, my store and then you can actually follow all those steps and then you will uh, implement into your store as well. So one important note is that this code is valid for every other theme. I mean, if you have a down theme, debut theme, simple theme, minimal theme, any theme, so you can try this code in any other theme. All right. So uh, let me show you. This is actually the customization part. So we have a lot of uh, settings here. Uh, I will show you later on. But for now, I'm going to delete the code and then uh, this will be removed. All right. So first of all, you need to go to your dashboard and here you can see that I have installed down theme. If you have any other theme, then still this code is valid. So you need to click on these three dots and then click on edit code. Once you are clicking on edit code, then you will get a few folders. Go to the layout and we have theme.liquid. So here you can see that I have added advanced announcement bar, which I need to remove. And the existing announcement bar, I mean the default announcement bar is this one, like announcement dash bar. And let me save these changes. And what else I have did? Uh, you need to click on sections. I have already created a new section, which is advanced announcement bar. So I need to delete this one as well. So once you delete it, then let's refresh this page again. So here we go. Now you can see that we have the default announcement bar of this specific theme. And we are interested to implement that advanced announcement bar. So let me show you how we can implement this. So once you are downloading the code, you will get these two files. All right. The first one is documentation and another one is the file where we have uh, the code which we need to copy and paste. So let me open this uh, documentation.txt file. So in this file, actually, you have all the steps. So the first step is like create a new section and name it advanced announcement bar. So we need to actually uh, create a new section and uh, we should name it advanced announcement bar. All right. So let's go to the browser. And uh, here also, if you will refresh the page, then that announcement bar will go on. We have removed the code. So here we go. Now you can see that we have simple announcement bar. So here we have to uh, go to sections, then click on add a new section. Then you need to paste that name, which is advanced dash announcement dash bars. Click on done. And now we will have a new section created. All right. We need to select all this, all these lines of code, delete it. And then we need to uh, go to the second step, which is paste attached code into advanced dash announcement dash bars dot liquid. So what is the second code, which is announcement bar. This one is the code. So you need to select this code again and copy this and paste it here. All right. Then click on save changes. So what is the next step? The next step is go to layout, then go to theme dot liquid and find section announcement bar. So we need to go to the th layout folder. Then we have theme dot liquid. And inside of this theme dot liquid, we have to uh, press control F or maybe if you are using Mac, then command F, then search here, section announcement dash bar. So what we have to do next, next thing is like comment the above line and paste this one. So we need to comment that code. So how we can comment? click here and uh, press control forward slash and it will be commented like uh, angular bracket sign of exclamation dash dash and at the end you also need to uh, put dash dash angular bracket close then you need to paste that uh, new line which you have just copied from there which is advanced dash announcement dash bars then you need to click on save so all the things are done now let's refresh this page again so i have refreshed the page and now we are expecting that uh, the new section should be created here so here we go now you can see that here we have announcement bar all right so currently you can see that i have this uh, black section so if you will uh, click on this checkbox then automatically that will be hided but right now we are interested to show the announcement bar so we have to check this uh, box 
and we need to add the messages here so what is the message like buy to get one free this is the first message another is for example free shipping for USA so these are the two messages all right then click on save if you want you can also connect the link here for example you are clicking here if you wanted to redirect someone once someone is clicking on this text then also you can uh, connect a specific page here but right now I am not interested to put any kind of link and you can actually uh, add more announcement messages here the next thing is like we have some settings so which is like show announcement bar we have already checked this checkbox second checkbox is show only on home page for example you are pressing this checkbox and let me save these changes so now if I am refreshing this page here you can see that I have this announcement bar here if I am clicking on catalog here it is also available but for now if I am disabling this and clicking on save the changes and let me refresh this page again now it's gone from all the other pages except the home page on the home page it is available and on other on the other pages it is not available so now what is the next thing next thing is like background color for example it is black so if you want you can actually uh, put it red color and you can also change the text color like black maybe and right now it was uh, white so white is better all right then we have countdown timer background right now it is not reflecting here why because we have not uh, added any countdown time here so we need to add some value how we can add it we have a website called unix timestamp unix timestamp.com you have to go there and here you can actually uh, create that uh, limit so for example right now we have the uh, date of today which is 15th of uh, january so we are going to create a countdown till uh, two days for example so 17 or maybe 18 january then we should uh, click on convert and here we have some value you need to copy this value and paste it inside of this input box so now you can see that the countdown started for two days from the current time all right then we have few other things like if you wanted to uh, change the background color of this countdown timer you can also change for example this one or maybe this one you understand what I mean maybe this one so whatever is uh, good for you you can actually put it like that and we have font size like small so this is for the announcement bar actually large default then we have font weight which is bold and we are putting it normal text transform like uppercase capitalize means only uh, first letter of the word is capital then we have the normal then we have arrows for example you are interested to hide the arrows so you can click on this and from the left and right there the arrows are gone again arrows are back then autoplay autoplay means if someone is interested to slide itself for example I am clicking on it and then it is sliding and if you want it uh, want to make it automatic then you can actually click on autoplay and after every five seconds it will automatically slide then we have a uh, theme which is light theme and dark theme so this is only for the countdown timer all right for now we are interested to make it uh, light then we have some padding which is spacing announcement bar for example we have an announcement bar and we are interested to put some space on the top on the bottom maybe so this is how it will look like but for now we are not interested to put uh, much space so this is good for now then we have countdown timer spaces uh, we have padding top padding bottom and we don't need the padding right now so we will keep it one and then we have margin top so if you want the space on the top on the bottom so you can also make it like this but for now we are interested to keep it zero so this is how actually uh, we can implement all this stuff so that is how it is called as an advanced announcement bar why because we have two functionalities here and you only need to copy and paste the code if you are following all these steps then definitely you will uh, implement the way which i have implemented right here if you have any problem then you can connect me i will be adding the contact details below in the description so if you have any other feature to develop definitely i will i am av available for you 
so thank you so much for watching this video if you are thinking this video is useful then please like this video also subscribe this channel and to download the uh, code i am adding the link below in the description so thank you once again see you in the next video